unbox and review the Atari Retro handheld console. Um, this came out actually in probably 2018, I think. Um, but I picked it up, I think it was £24 I picked it up for on Amazon. I think that may have jumped back up to about £30 now. Um, but I thought we'd have a look at this. It's 50 games installed. It's made by Blaze. There you go, there's the back. So yeah, 50 classic Atari games built in. As you can see, they've done the classic, tried to mimic the classic Woody effect. I have a sneaking suspicion this is going to be cheap plastic feeling. In fact, I'm, I'm pretty certain of it. But we'll uh, we'll have a look and see, okay? So, I'm gonna have a look inside. There you are. Nice box, I have to say, decent quality. And there's the covers. I have had this out uh, once already. Uh, you've got your little cover here for the screen. As you can see, a very small screen. Um, I actually am not 100% on the screen size. I think it might be, let's have a look. Yeah, 2.4 inches, 2.4 inch screen. Okay, so let's pop it out there. That's a very nice box. We'll have a look at some of the fluff we get here. That's just how to use. And where's this Blaze? Yeah, Blaze flogging the t-shirts and what have you. Yes, we'll put that back in the box. Thank you very much, Blaze. Um, so yeah, anything else we need to know? Um, featuring spectacular collection of classic titles including Asteroids, Adventure, Breakout, Centipede, Missile Command, Millipede, Pong, Soul Quest and many more. Uh, and as it says, reimagined design with immortalised wood effect. Yes, I suppose. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little look. So yeah, 2.4 inch screen. Um, it's batteries only. Uh, it runs on four AAAs, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but I suppose in the long run it's not going to make much odds. I doubt it will burn through the batteries too quickly. Um, cheap, cheap plastic feel. I mean, I'm not surprised at that for the price, it's cheap. They have done well trying to mimic the the wood effect. And there's your AV out, headphones on off, volume. No SD card slot, um, so you can't put your own ROMs onto it, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we'll, uh, we'll turn on and have a look. Better put some batteries in. Okay, so let's uh, let's fire this up and see what we get. Yeah, uh, it's quite. A, I mean, it's quite a, an unusual button here. I'm not sure how this will play. It actually feels supply, surprisingly robust. This button here, uh, as you can see, it's, it's very raised, um, and it feels quite good. Um, I'm, I'm not convinced that's not going to dig into my hands. Uh, these sharp corners. Yeah, but then the original Atari controller dog in your hand, so uh, I suppose you could argue it's tying in. Uh, where are we? Video chess, video pinball, Yars Avenge Asteroids, Tic Tac Toe. Let's embarrass myself with bowling. Okay. Yeah, the button, that button really does feel quite decent. Uh-huh. Yeah, what can you say with bowling? It's bowling. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get someone with a bit more action. Uh, you hold start and select to to reset to get to the main menu. Uh, good run again, Circus Atari, Crystal Castles. Deems the damage, Desert Falcon. Oh, yeah, dodge them. Oh, fun with numbers, yeah, okay. Surely they could have picked something better. I mean, there's no Space Invaders um, on this device uh, due to licensing issues, but I'm sure the surely they could have got something other than fun with numbers. Night Driver Missile Command. Let's have a look at Missile Command. I'm interested to see how this button works in a bit of a faster paced game.
Yeah, I'm not getting any lag input. Has to be said. Yeah, no lag, lag input at all. That's good. I really, I'm not getting any lag input. I'm going to reset. We'll see what else we can uh, see. What else we can load up here? Pong. I just realised there's no Pac-Man. I take it that's licensing reasons as well. Not that I've seen anyway. Tempest, Jurassic Battle, Bowling Breakout, Crystal Castles. I'm just seeing what we could. Have fun with numbers. Um, miniature golf. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, there's some games I would have liked to have seen on here. I mean, I realise there's licensing issues. Uh, it's a shame when you don't get Space Invaders just because it's such a classic. Maybe Pitfall. Again, there'll be um, there'll be issues with with licensing. Steeple Chase. I, I honestly don't remember playing this at all. I do have quite a modest Atari 2600 uh, game collection. I think it's sitting at around 50 physical games for that, which they are all the, the kind of biggies, which I'm very happy about. No, one day, uh, I will get the hang of the jump. No, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Let's see what else we've got. Street Racer. Let's have a go at Street Racer. That's how to lose badly. Yeah, again, I'm not. I'm really not feeling any any lag issues on this, which is good. Yeah, I, I, it would probably help if I picked a game that I wasn't absolutely terrible at, but that may be difficult. Submarine Commander. Ah. Yeah, not doing well at all. Okay, what else have we got? Sword Quest, Water World, Sword Quest, Fire World, Earth World, Super Breakout. Yeah, I don't have a look at Super Breakout, although I don't know why we need Super Breakout. What about just Breakout? Okay. This will be a good test of the input lag, actually. If there is any. Not bad, a bit jerky there, that's not, not input lag, but the controls a bit. Yeah. Ah! Okay, let's have another look. See what else we've got. Video chess, video checkers, I'm not going to bore you to death with that. Tempest. Yeah, it actually works surprisingly well with the with the controls here. Yeah, 
Yeah, it does. That that, that controls actually really quite smooth. It's quite surprising. Blackjack, yeah, really not bothered about Blackjack Canyon Bomber. Let's have a look. Very difficult to tell with any lag input on this game, but as I say, so far I'm really not feeling any. It's really quite smooth. It's not the most comfortable um, units to hold by any stretch. Ah, oh, there's Breakout, so there is Breakout as well as Super Breakout. That's fine. Centipede, Crystal Castles, Desert Falcon, Dodgem. That would help if I actually dodged. Okay, um, ferns out there, I actually had to press that quite hard to get it to... Ah, I actually had to press the button quite hard to get it to change lanes there. And it's changing more than I would like. Yeah, okay. Hmm, try that again. And go, uh, move, and out. No! Oh. But yeah, okay, so that takes a bit of getting used to the actual... How to, um... How much pressure to put on that button. That takes quite a bit of work. No! <laughs> yes, yeah, infuriating game. But yeah, okay, so... There's quite a decent selection of games, a uh, couple there that maybe don't need to be, a couple that are missing. You've got licensing uh, issues with a few of the bigger games, which is a shame because I think with the Atari, you really expect to have Pac-Man, you want Pitfall, you want Space Invaders, but there are some of the bigger games there, um, a couple that really don't need to be there. Design, yeah, they've done a good job of modelling it on the original Woody. I mean, I see what they've done. I mean, it was, it's up to 30 quid now. I paid 24 roughly on Amazon. It's worth 24 quid easily. It's just a little handheld. Shame about the batteries. Um, shame you don't have a... It's not rechargeable with USB-C or anything. That would be really handy. AV out, not tested it. I, I'm very unlikely to play it on AV out. The 2.4 inch screen, it is small, but I am standing quite a bit back from it so I can film and I can see everything quite well. So yeah, I would check it out. It's got its flaws. Is it worth the money? Yes, I would say so. It's a cheap device. Um, it's got a decent set of games. It's got a decent resolution screen. Yeah, yeah, worth 24 quid. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, click like. Uh, see you in the next video.